There I was at Sadrith Mora enjoying a lovely evening soiree at the Mages Guild headquarters when all of a sudden an Altmer wiggles their way into my little circle of acquaintances. Up until then, I'd been having such a lovely time discussing everyone's playful antics with the latest mass hysteria spell. Rajadri's clever disguise as a crier was the perfect ruse to get the most people in a crowd, and Cylindrial Altano, the very same, had an ingenious way of making it into an explody ground rune that she used to keep some of my very own pamphleteers away from her lawn. I was just about to listen in on the head mage's own spin on the classic widespread panic-inducing prank when the foppy elf shouldered himself ungracefully between two acolytes. I was half ready to roll my eyes and fake a tummy ache when I suddenly found myself entranced by their segue into old socks. I kid you not, this Altmer seemed to know everything about old socks. What should have been the most boring, tooth-gritting endurance of my patience turned into a fascinating lecture on cloven versus thread weave I'd ever heard. I wasn't so much fascinated by the art of foot sleeves themselves, but rather just how eloquently the haughty elf could go on about such an unusually drab subject. It was astounding. Everything from knitting to crochet. I had absolutely no idea that you could even crochet a sock, let alone two. But by the way he described the dive of the wrist at each intended threading made it seem as though it were only a matter of course. In fact, I almost felt foolish that I'd never thought of it before, and started to wonder if I was just a bit daft for having never crochet a sock of mine own. I realized surely this was some pompous display of magic. The Altmer was obviously just casting a charm spell or a calm spell, and was most likely going to lambast us for being so enthralled by a dumb sock talk. But no, they just kept on and on. I even tried to subtly cast Dispel on both myself and the Altmer Mage, but nothing happened. I racked my brain for answers. Was it an illusion? Was the real Altmer douche hiding behind the corner projecting raw boredom into our midst? No, no. The Dispel would have worked on me if that were the case. Was it alteration? Did the fascination come from them talking about an actually fascinating subject that was then only heard by us as sock talk? But then others could have easily interjected with the real subject. No, this was some other kind of spell entirely. The Altmer's tirade about heel fitting and arch support went on and on into the night, and I could see the flin glass in Salandriel's hand starting to shake from mere exhaustion as they listened intently. If I nor my fellow mages could discern what kind of magic we were under, then what, oh, whatever could this awful high elf magic be? And then it hit me. This was a high elf. Literally the most haughty peoples to ever groan under the Orbis. It wasn't a spell, the Fetcher was just toying around with their speechcraft. I felt so stupid. We'd all wasted the better part of two and a half hours listening to an elf's useless dissertation on piggy warmers just so they could have a laugh. I was livid. But their soothing cadences and trill wallumps prevented me from acting out my usual hatred of such chicanery. What's worse is that I just then realized the babbling sod probably wasn't even a mage. By the look of their drab sack shirt and torn trousers, they were most likely a pauper who had talked their way into the party. I knew exactly what to do. Casting the mightiest frenzy on myself that I could, I was finally able to break myself free of their incessant rambling and act upon my insipid loathing of high elves. Unfortunately, in my eagerness, I forgot that Rajadris was closest to me, and now the Sadrith Mora Mages Guild has a new rug. I quickly realized my mistake, cast a spell, and tried to apologize. But I'm almost certain I'm no longer a member because everyone just rolled their eyes and left. I don't have Speechcraft 100, but I'm pretty sure I still got the picture. No matter. I'm a god. I can always form my own Mages Guild all by myself. After the party had cleared, I chose to confront the High Elf about his behavior, but it turned out he was just a Bosmer who really liked socks the whole time. I vaporized him instantly. Despite this whole setback, I still did learn quite a lot about socks, though. Did you know that having a cross-weaved seam in the toe didn't come to High Rock until the late Second Era? Or even that ankle socks were originally a way for the Dwemer to show courtship status? Honestly, I never would have known. The word toesies is apparently Nord, too. Really, there's just so much to learn about socks, it's almost like a disease that infects the mind. Wow, I only just now thought of that. No, don't tell me. By Mafala. 
cure disease actually worked. It was a weird brain sock disease the whole time. For Akula Khan's sake, this is such bullshit.